Hey, today I will go through a simple example on how to combine strings. And what I wanna combine exactly is a message plus this food variable. So for example, I wanna combine this I love plus this variable food, but instead of doing it manually and do this chocolate here manually, and let's just console log that to see what do I wanna have as a result. Console log, I love chocolate. But instead of doing it manually, I wanna use the variable. Okay, to do that, we'll go through four examples. For the first one, we'll go through string concatenation. We'll use the plus operator. And for the second one, we'll go through template literals, which is the new syntax of ESX. It's not that new, but in general, if the browser you are using is compatible with ESX, so it can work. And we'll go for the contact method. Sorry, concat, not concat, contact, concat method. Then for the last one, we'll go for the join method, which they are both can be used for any string. First, let's just go for the message that I want to combine with food. So let's just go for const message, then I love. So I want to combine this message and food, which will give me I love chocolate. For the first solution, I will use this plus operator to combine message and food. Let's just use console log, then message, which is the first variable, and plus the second variable, which is food. So what do we use here is we use this plus sign to combine message, which is I love, then food, which is chocolate. As a result, we have here, I love chocolate. So I need to add a space and to add a space so I can add another thing here. So I will go for a space, for example, then add another plus, then I have here a space. It's a little bit complicated. It isn't a good way to concatenate two strings, but in general, I just want to present to you all of the ways to do that so in order to pick the one which is adapted to use case you are dealing with okay this is the first solution let's just go now to the next one to combine two strings by using template literals so we'll use the string interpolation syntax for that we'll use the dollar sign then curly braces and within the curly braces i will use the variable so it will go for the first one which is message then food which is the second one now i'll add console log instead of adding this double quote i will use ticks because if you add double quotes it will not work add this dollar sign braces first variable message and without this plus sign i'll have this food message food i love chocolate without adding any space like that we have also a concat method that can be used for strings and i will go for message then i want to concatenate what i want to concatenate food which means that okay let's just close that i'll use it inside the console log console log save that and i have this i love chocolate but the problem here that i'm not having any space i want to add a space so this is why I will add an empty string here. Then I can separate the so concat method can use multiple strings. And for that, I will add this message, then food, save that. Now I have I love, then chocolate. And I can go, for example, and they add another string here. And they'll go for a space. Now I have this I love chocolate. So this is a way to do that. And I just remove that. Or you can just add message here, leave it like that message then for the first string will be a space so it depends on how you want to manage that and for the last one we'll use the join method which will add some variable strings and join them by using a comma or a space or whatever you want and to correct something that i tell from the beginning of this lesson so that join if it's not a string method so if it's an array method so you can't just use a string here and use join but instead you need to use an array okay let's just go for that and I'll use the console log, then an empty array, and I'll use the join method. Then for the first variable, I will use message and food. And join will just join both of them. And the value of join will be the separator. I have this I love, but I need a space. So for example, if I add a comma, I just separate two string of the two variables by using this comma right here. But for me personally, I want to add a space. And for that, I will replace this comma by a space. Now we have the same result. Cool. And these are some of the ways to concatenate two strings.